As Ireland is part of the EU, it's exactly the same as for every other EU student, and that includes students from the UK. So within the UK education system, the government actually gave out training bursaries for PGCE students. And depending on the subject that you're going to study, your training bursary is higher or lower. So for instance, if you're talking about training as a maths teacher or a science teacher, then you will be getting £9,000 as a training bursary for that one year. Um, that's yours. You don't have to, to give it back in any way at all. Um, and it's paid in instalments throughout the year and it's tax free. You also have access to exactly the same student loan system as anybody else. Um, and it's worth, I would say, it's really worth Irish students having a look um, around the UK financial um, aspects of it. So the student finance um, site is a really good website to go and have a look at and check it out, see exactly what you're entitled to and exactly when you have to pay student loans back. In order to be a teacher in the UK, everybody needs to have a GCSE, which is the qualification they get in the UK at the age of 16, in, either math in, in mathematics, English language, and if you're going to go into primary teaching, science. And when I say science, it could be chemistry, physics, biology, or one of those. There are a lot of people who, for one reason or another, don't have those qualifications. So what you will find is that at Edge Hill, we actually um, put together a programme of examinations and tests that you can take. Um, and you can take that over a, a relatively short period of time in order to get that qualification. Other institutions will do something similar and you need to ask them when you're applying you know, what, what they're providing on that score. At leaving cert level you would need English, mathematics and if you're going to primary, a science, being chemistry, physics or biology. Right, well what we're looking at Certainly at Edge Hill and certainly in most of the teacher training providers in the UK, we're looking that you have an honours degree. Now that's something that I have noticed that some um, students from, from Ireland, depending on which institution they've been through, are actually coming out with ordinary degrees. Um, you need, if that's the case, you can still go on to a PGC, but you will be asked to do a top up. So you'll be asked to get some extra credits. Um, if you've got an honours degree, absolutely fine. And we're talking about a second class um, honours degree as a minimum. Personal statement is actually the key thing. So your qualifications, that's fine, you can sort your qualifications out. The personal statement is something that they really look at very, very closely. So what you have to put in that personal statement is any experience that you've got around working with young people, um, working with children. Now that could not necessarily be within a school environment. It could be that you're working with local community groups or that you're training football or whatever, on a, on a Saturday morning, hockey, that kind of thing. You need to mention that, you need to make sure that that comes across in your personal statement. And it's not a case of you saying to us, um, on a Saturday morning for six months I go and train football. Um, you need to tell us what you've learned from it. So you need to explain what you're getting um, out, of, out of doing that um, and how you've learnt about children's development and learning. What will usually happen is you will come in, you will have um, a general talk given by the course leader, so you know the background of the course in a little bit more detail, etc. And then you will usually be split up into groups and there'll be a group activity that you have to do, which is observed. Um, nothing too terrifying or anything like that, um, but it's observed and it's about us learning the way that you work really as a team. Um, and then following that you'll actually have possibly a presentation to do, a five minute presentation, which would be an aspect of your particular subject, okay, something relevant to that, and then you'll have an individual interview, which usually lasts about 20-30 minutes. Enthusiasm. The fact that you're coming through the door and we can see that there's a light in your eyes, that you're enthusiastic about what you're talking about. That's the key. And the key to, to being the key to being able to show us that is actually preparing for your interview. So have a, a look into the UK educational system. Make sure that you know the qualification framework, how it works, any current big issues that are going on, so that you can talk about it confidently and we know that you've done your homework on it really.
Um, that's the thing. But the key thing really is that we're looking for that enthusiasm that you want to really, really teach. Not being prepared, basically, that's it. Not being prepared, coming in and not expecting, um, not expecting to get the questions that you will get asked around about the education system and current educational issues. Um, coming into your presentation as well, um, which is usually, as I said before, your interview, coming into your presentation and not having that prepared properly. Um, you really need to rehearse everything. You really need to do an awful lot of work on your interview techniques as well. I think you've got to have a love of teaching. So you've got to love working with young people and working with young children. That's something you really have to do. It's got to be a basic requirement. And you have to have that desire to change, um, that desire to transform um, a child's life or a student's life. It's having that philosophy of teaching, really, right from the very beginning. That's what you need to do. You will never, ever get a more challenging career. And you'll never get a career that gives you so much variety. So you'll go in in the morning and you'll come out at the end of the day and every day will be completely different. And I don't know any other career where you'll get that. There are also some decent holidays as well.